good afternoon you guys we just parked at Mickey and Friends man every time you park in here it just feels so good to be back but we are here for the opening day of a touch of Disney um, so stay tuned it's gonna be a fun event just wanted to point out the view right behind me look at this view you guys man I miss this parking structure so much every time I park here it just reminds me of when the parks were fully open and you knew it was gonna be an amazing day in the parks whenever you parked at Making Friends or Pixar Pals. Soon enough, we'll be back at Disneyland and experience the full magic again. But again, today's gonna be an amazing day here at the opening day of A Touch of Disney. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, I think we're gonna be meeting up with a bunch of friends today and it's just gonna be an amazing day. So just stay tuned and let's have an awesome time here at A Touch of Disney. Making our way over to the security uh, checkpoint. Um, again, I didn't focus on it too much in the last vlog, but I kind of wanted to reiterate how it kind of works. Um, so you actually walk this path that I'm going in right behind me, and then this will take you into the Pixar Pals parking structure. From there, they'll check your bags, they'll do temperature checks, and then you'll make your way back out of the Pixar Pals parking structure, and you'll go ahead and walk the tram route all the way to a touch of Disney at uh, Disney's California Adventure Park. All right, you guys, we just left the security check uh, over at uh, the Pixar Palace parking structure. Again, Disney's doing such an amazing job. Security goes by so fast. It's such a smooth uh, transition. Disney's really on top of it. And now we're about to walk the tram route. Um, it's about a 10, 10 to 15 minute walk, depending on how fast you walk. I walk a little fast, so that's why it's maybe towards a 10 minute walk. We are walking the tram route on our way to a touch of Disney. Um, again, it's about a 10 to 15 minute walk, just depending on how fast you walk. I enjoy this little walk. I mean, it allows you to take or appreciate some of the scenery that you normally don't get to see because when you're taking the tram normally it goes by really fast and most of the time when I'm on the tram I'm checking my phone so it's nice to just kind of walk this route and enjoy it. The benches along the tram route if you do need to take a take a breather or take a break they do have a bunch of benches as well as hand sanitizing stations and trash cans but again just taking in the views guys this is a really rare opportunity you normally don't get to walk the tram route and after this event i don't think we will ever uh, have to do it again so uh enjoy it if you do plan on coming to a uh, touch of disney one thing i wanted to show you guys that they didn't have last time is check out these autotopia inspired touch of disney cars look how sick these guys are these are so dope I'm coming to you guys from my bedroom. Um, unfortunately, the next two minutes of video footage, don't worry, it's not the whole uh, YouTube video, um, didn't have any audio, my microphone wasn't on, which is kind of a bummer, but I still thought this was valuable footage and I wanted to walk you guys through the next two minutes of the vlog. Right off the bat, you guys can see how long the line was to get into a touch of Disney. Guys, I waited an hour and a half to get in, you guys. The line was really long. Um, I got there around 12, I highly recommend getting there earlier, um, I should have anticipated better, but once we were inside the gates, um, everything was smooth, um, we got to meet up with a bunch of my good friends like Paul and the whole gang, I ended up running into Theme Park Obsession as well as Best Life and Beyond, um, they are so sweet, definitely go check them out and um, Katie and Spencer were just the nicest people and uh, it was a pleasure talking to them as well as Magic Journeys. Guys, I ran into so many friends opening day um, and I'm really bummed that the audio uh, did not record uh, these moments with them. But um, as we continued, uh, Paul, Nick and the gang and I, uh, we ran into our good friend Michael and Michael actually recommended the farm stand punch. It was getting a little hot out so we all decided to try the farm stand punch and guys, I gotta say, it was so delicious and super tangy. Um, definitely one of my favorite drinks here at the event and highly recommend it. After we enjoyed our farm stand punch, our reservation for Lamplight Lounge got called and then that's where the vlog and then that's where the normal vlog continues uh but again enjoy the rest of the vlog and uh, it's definitely a fun one so make sure to stay all the way to the end for some special surprises our food just came we got the lobster nachos and we got the falling with style check out this beautiful drink it is non-alcoholic and it is a lemonade with a mango puree on the inside guys i miss my lobster nachos I've been craving these for over a year and I can't wait to dig in. Check it out. Just here with a bunch of friends today and uh, we're all just grabbing it up and uh, about to enjoy a delicious meal. Look at this is the life of an influencer. We got everybody over here trying to get those photos. But again, uh, so happy to be back at Lamplight Lounge. It's been over a year. And a little fun fact, I ate here actually on March 13th, the last day Disney was open. Look at everybody down here enjoying their food. Look at that. What did Paul get down there? He got a burger. We got the nachos. We got Abel over here and his burger. We're, we're all ready, you guys. We're about to chow down on these lobster nachos. Guys, it's been over a year. So delicious. 
delicious. All the wasted years. <laughs> guys, those lobster nachos. It's been too long, you guys. It's been way too long. A few moments later. And then, guys, we have the Fallingwood style. It's so refreshing. It's a delicious lemonade with a nice uh, hint of mango. Super refreshing, super tropical. And definitely recommend getting this guy again. Again, the Fallingwood style is a non alcoholic drink, um, but again, it's delicious. Which is so, so refreshing. I think my girlfriend and I have learned to do is when we take a drink, we go. Pinky's up. I literally just spilled some on my pants. We just finished eating, you guys. Man, I am stuffed. Uh, I feel a little bloated. But uh, it was so good, and I really miss those lobster nachos. But again, um, if you guys haven't been to Lab Light Lounge, um, they're one of my favorites here. Uh, but I'm sure most of you guys have. Huge, huge, huge uh, thank you to Nick for treating me to uh, lunch this afternoon. Really, really appreciate it. Make sure to go give him a follow at Wonders of Magic. Um, and guys, just check out the views, you guys. It's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful opening day here at A Touch of Disney. And we still got so much more to see, so stay tuned, you guys. What do you think uh, of your food? Do you like really it? Really good, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? How do you recommend it? Highly recommend. Yeah. Guys, I think we're all, we all just finished and uh, uh, I'm ready for a nap. But we still got the whole day. So we got plenty of more stuff to do. So ain't no sleeping. Might need some caffeine in my system. But uh, And right behind us, we got an Incredicoaster, you guys. Man, I miss this so much. This is like one of my favorite rides to ride here in DCA. And I'm sure it is you guys' favorite too. But again, it's so surreal to see it so empty. And every time I rode in Credit Coaster, I had to come over and get myself a Jack Jack Nom Nom cookie. Um, they were one of my favorites here. And uh, I'm so sad they're not open for a touch of Disney. So I hope they bring them back when the parks reopen at the end of April. Speaking of the end of April, Disney has a officially announced a reopening date. April 30th, Disneyland and Disney's California Adventure Park where I'm standing right now will be officially reopening with indoor and outdoor attractions. I'm so excited! Do you love making cupcakes? But, but again, the parks will be reopening April 30th and I am so excited. And uh, April 29th, uh, the Grand Californian Hotel will be opening as well. Uh, I want to try to book a room there. That'd be so fun to stay there and then go to the parks right after. I, I really miss the park so much. I'm gonna take a break from vlogging really quick because I think Chris got a little treat over here. I don't know what he's doing. Chris, what what, what flavor ice cream did you get? I got a Dole Whip. What? He got a Dole Whip, not no ice cream. <laughs> he got his Dole Whip. We it's miss like the Dole Whip. They trick you because it's in a cone. <laughs> it's in a cone. That's why I thought it was ice cream, but it's a Dole Whip, you no, guys. I'll have to get the Dole Whip. Man. Yes. Come on. Come on. It's a, a Dole, Whip. A Dole Whip. Uh huh. Uh, how is it's it though? Amazing. It's amazing. Just as uh, I remember, I wish we had like we were able to get like the raspberry ones. Yeah. Or the orange flavors. But it's okay. It's fine. I'll settle. It's okay. I love my Dole Whip. We all got Dole Whips. Paul got a Dole Whip. Paul got a Dole Whip too. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you guys can get uh, the Dole Whips at the adorable Snowman Frosted Treats over by the pier. And I am so excited for the parks to reopen, you guys. Um, a Touch of Disney is such a phenomenal event and I feel like this is like the pre-show uh, for the parks reopening and I cannot wait. Again, we don't have any information on prices of tickets uh, when tickets go on sale. Um, but again, stay tuned to the vlogs as well as you can check out my Instagram at timothy.af. I tend to be updated more on there and I'll, you guys will probably be updated first on the Instagram before the YouTube just because it takes me time to edit the videos. So make sure to follow me there as well. Guys, like I was saying, I think in my previous vlog, uh, we are getting to the light at the end of the tunnel and things are starting to look up. Um, so again, just everything is just, it's just an amazing day here at A Touch of Disney. Like, I, I really cannot complain. I had my lobster nachos. Uh, we're having Dole Whips. We're having churros. It's just a fun time, you guys. And even though it does feel a little crowded when I go over towards the pier and over towards the front of DCA and Buena Vista Street, um, it is super empty over here. Like, really, we're the only ones here buying Coaster. And there's so much tables and chairs, so don't uh, feel worried about finding dining. Um, and again, overall, this event is not packed at all. Disney's doing a great job uh, with the capacity and uh, the social distancing uh, measures in place. Another ride that I miss here at DCA, um, and what a view this is. We have Toy Story Mania, and then we have 
the beautiful and credit coaster right behind us um, but again, what's your highest score on Midway Mania? Um, my high score, I got to almost like 250k, I think, was like the most I ever got on this ride. So sad. Guys, this makes me so sad. But again, you guys can visit Sadness over here um, at Emotional Whirlwind uh, right next to the Incredicoaster. Bye, Sadness. I'll see you later. Guys, we're on the hunt for Mickey. On the hunt for Mickey, Mickey. Mouse. That should be the name of this video. The on the hunt for Mickey, on the Mouse. Hunt for Mickey Mouse. On the hunt. <laughs> on the hunt from the big boss, Mickey Mouse. Mickey! We love you, Mickey. I'm your biggest fan. I know him. I know him. Daisy. Look who it is, we found Daisy. Hi Daisy, how are you? Hi Daisy. Thank you, Daisy. Alright you guys, made our way down towards the Pixar boardwalk and just wanted to tell you guys that all of the games are open and they are free to play. So if you guys have some time to kill here at a touch of Disney, um, come down to the boardwalk. You can go ahead and play all these games for free. There is a little bit of a wait, but uh, these games are so much fun. A little update on the boardwalk games, um, apparently the machine that scans your uh, ticket was actually down, so uh, real quick, who is this guy? Make sure to give him a follow, Whole Sleep <laughs> Park Adventures, there you go. I mean you guys probably already are, you guys check him out. Check him out. This is YouTube channel Timothy AF. Never heard of it, never heard of it. <laughs> never heard of it. <laughs> apparently the machine that scans the ticket was down, so they allowed everybody to play today for free. Um, but I don't think that's going to be the case on a normal day. Um, just wanted to clarify that. Just checking out this amazing view, you guys. I mean, it can't get better than this. I mean, maybe it can. We can have the castle over at Disneyland. But again, uh, this will have to do for now. So after attending the cast member preview, as well as opening day of A Touch of Disney, um, again, Disney just has done a phenomenal job. Um, the one thing I will say, though, is that this morning getting in was a little bit of a struggle. So definitely do plan accordingly. Get here a little bit early. Um, because you, you again you're paying $75 for this ticket and uh, you want to get your money's worth and so um, I spent an hour and a half in line this morning um, that's an hour and a half I could have had here uh, at a touch of Disney so just definitely plan accordingly and hopefully as the days go on um, it won't be as crazy but again this event sold out like there's no remaining days available as of right now so again um, it, it could be like that the entire time but hopefully not just taking in this beautiful view one more time um, again, what a great spot to take some photos. Um, I'll be back here again uh, on the 27th of March uh, with my girlfriend, so I'm just, I'm so excited for that day. Like I was saying in the previous vlog, um, it just feels, it just feels surreal to be back. Um, it feels surreal. Um, what also feels surreal is just being here, but also not seeing the Ferris wheel moving and the Incredicoaster going and um, just seeing everything so quiet. Um, it's definitely quiet, like there's nobody around me, like where I'm at right now. Um, so it's definitely a surreal experience, but again, if you're missing the parks, um, this definitely gets your Disney fix. And um, again, uh, come April, the end of April, we'll have uh, Disneyland and DCA open fully with uh, the rides going in the background and the Ferris wheel going, so I'm super excited for that. Making our way over to Cars Land, and uh, our good pal Max is over here still fishing. And does he still have that chicken on his line? The last time I was here, he had a chicken at the end of his fishing rope. Uh, I don't know what he's up to, but uh, let's see. Let's focus on Max over here. Let's zoom in on a Max. Hello, Max. Hello. One thing I will say about this event, you guys, same thing that happened last time. You have so much fun at a touch of Disney that you really lose track of time. And now we really only have, how much time we have left? We have 50 minutes left until the event is over with. So again, um, even though eight, hour, eight hours seems like a long time, um, this event is going by in a flash. Guys, check it out Cars Land during the evening time is like my favorite. It's so gorgeous. Just look at the view right behind me. The cozy cones are open. What I wish was open was Flo's Cafe. I'm a little uh, bummed that they didn't open it for the event. Uh, but again, once the parks reopen, hopefully late April, we should get it back by then. But again, just checking out the vibes here in Cars Land. And what a beautiful opening day it has been. I showed you guys the spot last time, but uh, right over there is Avengers Campus. But I did not show you it, what it looks like at night, you guys. And uh, let's take a quick look. We can see the Quinjet and the Avengers logo all lit up, looking beautiful as ever uh, this uh, opening day evening. 
but just check it out you guys I cannot wait to go to Avengers campus it looks gorgeous and I know Disney definitely has a lot in store for us hopefully we'll get to experience it uh, when the parks do open uh, late April how to make another quick stop here at Ghirardelli um, Again, if you guys do come to a touch of Disney, um, it's been getting really cold at night and I uh, highly recommend a hot chocolate here from Ghirardelli. Uh, they're some of my favorites and I've been missing them so much. But just wanted to point out how peaceful it is over here. Look, there's like nobody. It's super peaceful. Uh, there's a little bit of a line. Um, but again, a nice hot chocolate to end off the nights um, as we have 30 minutes left of opening day of Touch of Disney. One thing I will say though, even though Ghirardelli is open and I love their hot chocolate, I wish Starbucks was open or the Fiddler Fife and Practical Cafe. Um, I'm surprised they didn't open it for this event. Um, the Starbucks in downtown Disney is open, but when you're here at A Touch of Disney, most of the time you're just going to stay in A Touch of Disney. You're not really going to leave California Adventure Park to go to downtown Disney, or at least for me. So I would have really liked the Starbucks to be open, but they do have a coffee cart over by the pier. All right, you guys, uh, ending our night on a hot chocolate. Chris got a hot chocolate over here as well. Uh, would you get the normal one or the? I just go in traditional. Just traditional. I got the sea salted caramel one. I believe it's called. I yep. believe. Yeah. Um, that one is really good. Got my hot chocolate and I'm just taking in the views over here at Radiator Springs. Just look at this beautiful view right behind me, you guys. Um, and again, uh, there's only like five minutes left of a touch of Disney. And uh, again, what an amazing opening day this was. Um, it was such a fun time hanging out with so many friends. Um, again, I'm sorry if this vlog wasn't as informative as the last one. Uh, today was kind of just my day to enjoy time with friends and just hang out and get some delicious food over at Lamplight Lounge and just enjoy it. Enjoy what a touch of Disney has to offer. Like I was saying, I had to end my night here in Radiator Springs next to my good pal Mater right over here. How's it going, Mater? Hey, Gum, I ain't <laughs> never seen so many good looking smiles in Radiator Springs in my entire life. But again, what an awesome time here at a touch of Disney. I'm um, glad I got to hang out with so many friends. Hey, I just topped and, off the uh, Mater, I'm, I'm trying to finish guys. my outro. Uh, oops, excuse me. Here we go again. <laughs> Make sure to drop a like as well as hit that subscribe button. And again, if you have any more questions regarding a touch of Disney or anything else, uh, make sure to message me on Instagram hey, at timothy.af. And as always, new vlog coming soon, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I just know you was going to be here. <laughs> guys, we're still here. Everybody's here right now. We're just enjoying these last few moments here in the park um, Before they kick us out uh, security's kind of making their way But again, what a fun day here at a touch of Disney and um, I really can't wait to be back on the 27th